Are you looking for a larger size 4K television? You can check out the Hisense U7 4K television and here are some specifications. Now at the time of this video creation it is allegedly the lowest price ever at the 65 inch. There are different sizes. I'm not going to go over all the different sizes. If you click on where to buy it will show you links to Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, and Cons or something like that. Anyways, Amazon, it is being sold for a little bit higher. Two different options, $992. However, at Best Buy, $679.99, you would save $120. It was $800. And then for the 65 inch, Walmart, sold out but they did list what was the price that they listed yeah 678 however it says it sold out right here out of stock but you could always look on walmart.com okay so let's go back to the specifications directly from highsense-usa.com well i guess we could check out the photographs too Miniature light emitting diodes, ULED U7. That's another acronym, light emitting diodes, and then the U. Let's see. Alrighty. Alright. Peak brightness 1000 nits, I think. What is it? High definition resolution. Dolby Vision comes with a remote control. It does support 4K video, 65 inches diagonally. Now they they also show you the dimensions, but diagonally the display it is not rounded, so that should be either exactly 65 inches or pretty close to 65 inches. The side view, back view, side view. Okay, let's scroll down and it supports quantum dot technology, miniature light emitting diode, 144 hertz. I'm assuming that is the display refresh rate which would be 144 frames per second refresh rate. It has a game mode. I'm not sure if this, I don't think this is a gaming monitor per se or a gaming television, but it does have a gaming mode. Yeah, it says here it has different modes for movies, sports, and gaming. That's pretty standard with a lot of televisions nowadays and even computer monitors. There's a video, a billion plus shades of color, quantum dot color. It includes Dolby Vision, high definition, resolution 10, 10 plus. Here's some more images, a menu, high refresh rate mode. You can adjust the brightness, screen position, picture size 20 by 21. Well, it supports 21 by 9 aperture, and it also looks like it supports 16 by 9 aperture. And I think you can change that setting yourself. You can adjust it. It has dark, like a dark mode, I think. Frames per second viewing. A hundred now this has a hundred and twenty frames per second. That might be standard, but it does support up to hundred and forty yeah. It looks like the gaming mode will support a hundred and forty four frames per second refresh rate, but normally it it it, it will use a hundred and twenty frames per second refresh rate. In the other mode. It has a game bar. The variable refresh rate is from 48 hertz to 144 hertz. 
comes with some advanced marker devices free sync it does have a low latency mode so it is designed for game video gaming but I don't know if I would say this is a gaming mon you know television per se filmmaker mode IMAX enhanced mode it comes with Google Television. Some of these might already be installed. YouTube application, Prime Video application, Disney Plus application, Apple Television application, HBO Max, and YouTube t Music application, and Spotify. They may already be installed. I'm not sure. If not, you can install them with the Google Play Store as long as you have a Google Play Store account, which you, you just use a Google account. All righty. It supports, it does have, I don't know about just one, but they do have high definition multimedia interface 2.1 ports, either one or more than one. It does support Apple Home. It will work with Apple AirPlay. It does support Wi-Fi version 6.e and then Technicolor. Now they have different models. I just went through and showed you the prices for the 65 inch model. I'm not sure about the 55, 75, or 85, but you could check those out in your own accord. Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, and Cons, I think, also. Yeah, I'm not going to go through the full specs, but they do have a full specifications page. That comes with the user manual, a energy guide specification sheet product support I'm not sure what this is the QSG but this is the U7K model but I believe they come in different sizes so I think you could look up that model I don't know if each different size comes with a separate model num number or not they may not I'll just quickly go over this, but I have about 30 seconds. Let's see the, the dimension without, it comes with a stand. Without the stand in inches is on screen 57.1 by 31, 3.1 by 3.1 inches. With the stand 57 by 35 by 12 point really quickly. With the stand, that's kind of heavy, 44 and a half pounds. And then the package dimensions. The package weight 63 pounds with the stand, without the stand 43 pounds. That is my eight minutes. Anything else quickly? Yeah, that yeah, okay. So diagonally it's actually 64 and a half inches diagonally, this size of the screen. It has a backlight, a liquid crystal display backlight. It is classified as a 65 inch television. It does have Google television. Therefore, it's going to have the Google Play Store. Screen resolution it supports 3840 by 2160. Dimming capable, motion rate 480, full array, backlight type. 1000 nits, yep, I already went over that. That's redundant. Dolby, the refresh rate, I already went over that. The color space, when, whatever that, you know, one. 0.07G. A lot of people don't really worry about some of these specifications. Now, the audio output in wattage is 40 watts. Power, 220 watts. And then standby consumption, half a watt. Okay. This is redundant. It does support 8211AX, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz bands. It does have an Ethernet port, Bluetooth 5.2. It has two, it has actually four total ports. It looks like two high definition multimedia interface are up to 4K at 144 hertz, and the other ones are not as high. But they, it looks like it has four high definition multimedia interfaces, ports, one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0 port. It does come with a, I think, built-in antenna next generation television. It does, there are no composite video inputs. There's one 
audio input for composite. There's one optical digital audio put. There is an earphone audio output. I'm assuming that's a 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm not sure if that is duplex. I'm not sure if you can also... I don't know if this has a web camera. Some televisions have web cameras and you can actually use, you know, video conferencing software like Zoom and Skype. I'm not sure if this allows you to connect a microphone or not. Okay, parental control, blah, 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 blah. Digital noise reduction. You can mount it on a wall. Two-year warranty. It does have a gaming mode. You can stream channels. The wall mount is 400 by 300. It comes with one voice remote control, quick start guide, and or user manual, a power cord, and two-year warranty. That is my video pertaining to the Hisense U7 4K TV specifications.